some of my most powerful experiences doing the programming of Northern Spirit Radio have been with people who seemed unlikely ministers, unlikely people to testify. And sometimes they've been extremely reluctant to be recorded. They're very shy. I remember one woman who had never shared her music with anyone else, and I invited it forth. And she broke into tears when she realized that I was actually hearing her and seeing her work and recognizing it, because that doesn't happen so much. We flit on by and we go with the noisy distractions. I'm Mark Judkins Helpsmeet and I'm a member of Eau Claire Friends Meeting, that's in Wisconsin, and founder of Northern Spirit Radio, which is really the fulfillment of the work of my life. Northern Spirit Radio was founded back in 2005. What happened is I'd been working as a computer programmer consultant for a number of years, was clearly not called to be it, in spite of the fact I'd done it for more than 25 years. I was led in some other direction, but I didn't know what that direction was. And a clearness committee was set up in my monthly meeting to help me find what I'm called to do with my life. As part of that process, the request came in from the outer world in two different directions that said, we have a startup radio station, would you like to do a program on it, on activism? We've considered other people, we'd like to have something kind of religious on Sunday, but we don't want it to be religious. So Quakers are kind of good at walking that line. And so would you like to do something about activism? So in 2005, when Clearness came to me, I offered to do this program on my local radio station, a low-power FM station in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And uh, I did two programs, actually, to start. One is called Spirit in Action, and one is called Song of the Soul. The focus is different than many other radio programs in that, for me, what it is is a ministry of listening. I'm attempting to invite people through the radio programs to their experience of the eternal, to sink down which is eternal. And so that's a question I'm always asking myself, whatever we're talking about is, how can I lead this person closer to that which is eternal? The work of Northern Spirit Radio feels to me completely Quakerly, coming straight from the Quaker way in that it's really a ministry of listening. It's really trying to find that of light and that of God in other people and invite it out, put it in public. So that feels to me essentially Quaker, in particular in the sense that we don't put someone else in front as the person to do ministry. I, we see that ministry and light present in everyone. And so when I sit down and do my radio programs again, what I'm trying to do is say, you share what your ministry is, let's hold that in common so that we can raise each other up. So it, it is in fact, I think a ministry, but not a ministry where it's my words, it's where I invite forth other people's words. Ministry isn't about me talking, it's about me listening in the right way to invite the words in the center out of other people. When I started broadcasting Northern Spirit radio programs, both Spirit in Action and Song of the Soul, they were just on the small low-power FM radio station in Eau Claire. I think as of yesterday, I recognize that we're up to 32 stations nationwide. You can listen on them by the point where they broadcast it, or you can just listen anytime on NorthernSpiritRadio.org. I'm here at West Richmond Friends Meeting in Indiana just to say thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release new videos every Thursday and you can click on this button over here to subscribe to the project. This year we're asking for your support to help keep the project going. For as little as one dollar per video you can support us. That link is just below me. You can see all the videos we've ever released in this playlist down here. Thanks for watching and have a great Thursday.